Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I absolutely love it when companies release source code. And this one especially so, because I absolutely love this game as well. What you see in front of you, this is Rogue Legacy, and this is a game I have played a lot. And uh, they've actually just released the source code to this. We'll get into some of the details in just a second. If you don't know, this is a 2D platformer Rogue Light or Rogue Light, or I'm not sure what they call them anymore. But basically, it's one of those games where you're expected to die a lot. Well, you progress, add to your abilities, and move on from there. But the reason why I really like this is actually the technology that it was made with. I've long been a fan of. Uh, so without further ado, let us go ahead and learn a little bit more about this project. Now, first off, uh, this video has been sponsored by uh, Camtasia and also been created in Camtasia. Stay tuned to the end. I'll show you how I actually created this actual video. So what you'll see here, I have played this game 46 hours. That doesn't sound very impressive, and I would agree with you. That's not really that impressive, but I bought this after I got a Steam Deck. I also own this one on my Switch. I also own it on my Xbox. I have probably played several hundred hours of Rogue Legacy. It is just that kind of game. But this is a game development channel, not a Let's Play, so why am I talking about it today? Well, it would come down to this tweet. So this is Rogue Legacy, or C Cellar Door Games, uh, the creators of Rogue Legacy 1 and 2. By the way, there is a 2 out there as well. Uh, it's been over 10 years. Damn, I feel old. It's been 10 years since we released Rogue Legacy 1, and in the pursuit of sharing knowledge, we are officially releasing the source code to the public. Uh, we have a repository of it right there. And then eternal thanks to... Flibbit. Tijibibo, uh, Ethan. Uh, so thank you to Ethan uh, for setting this up. Uh, we'll be uh, and being with us since the beginning. So who is this Flibbit, Ethan? Fellow. Well, he is Ethan Lee. He is a Linux porter. He's a maintenance guy, and he's the developer of FNA. And that is part of why I'm so excited about this, actually, because FNA is um, the one of the ports of XNA. XNA being Microsoft's framework for developing games. We'll get back to that in just a second. But this is the guy who runs FNA Foundation. On top of that, he's helped port uh, Fez, Celeste, TMNT, Shredders, Revenge, Transistor, Streets of Rage 4, Dust, and so on. Uh, over to Linux, obviously Steam Deck native, uh, Steam Deck native in that point in time. So you see here, uh, I make Linux native ports, the, uh, the kind that were great on Steam Deck. I've made over 70 ports with engines of all kinds. I'd be happy to work with your game too. Uh, but the big thing here is this one. Announcing my next maintenance project, the source code to Rogue Legacy 1 is now available. Like, v -v 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 and Flotilla source releases, I fully intend to take community contributions seriously. If you enjoyed Rogue Legacy and enjoy programming in C Sharp, please Please take a look. And this is also my first public SDL3 project. Steam users can opt into SDL3 beta branch and try out the very latest build that's on GitHub today. My plan is to make this the default build when SDL3.2 is tagged. So the repository is up. Uh, and the, one of the key things to be aware of is the license behind it. So they have made the source code available, but this project isn't technically open source. Uh, it's actually being released under uh, this license over here. Uh, so this was the v -v 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 license being modified. Um, and it gives you an idea of what the source code is. Permission is granted to anyone to use the software to alter it and redistribute it freely subject to the following restrictions. You may not alter or redistribute this software in any manner that is primarily intended for a direct, uh, for or directed towards commercial advantage or primary monetary compensation. This includes but is not limited to selling altered or unaltered versions of the software or including advertisements of any kind in altered or unaltered versions of the software. So basically, you can't make Rogue Legacy Me Edition give me money. Um, the the uh, origin of the software must not be misrepresented. You may not claim that you wrote the original software. If you use the software in a product, you are required to include an acknowledgement in the product that this software is the copyright of Cellar Door Games and is based on the Rogue Legacy 1 source code. Altered source binary versions must be plainly marked as such and must not be misrepresented as being the original software. And you must not distribute any material from the game which are not included in this repo unless approved by us in writing. And this notice may not be removed. So the key thing to know there is you are not getting the binary assets here either. Uh, so let's go back a level here. So boom, I uh, come down here to the description. So you need to actually um, copy over the content. So here, the assets and content proj are not included. So one of the things to be aware of, you can build the code, 
the details of building the code, it's basically super simple. Nice thing about being a .NET project is building it generally is quite easy. Uh, it will export out the content over into this directory, and then you have to copy the content over from your own personal game. So uh, you still need to own Rogue Legacy 1 if you want to go ahead and check this out. Source code is all available right here. I haven't gone through it in any depth. I did, of course, come up here and see how many swear words were in here. And amazingly enough, none. I also searched for the word hack, none. So those are always there. Uh, it actually kind of shocks me to not see uh, the typical, uh, you know, remnants of any open sourced code base. It's pretty clean and straightforward in what it's all about. Now, in terms of the excitement around this, it's because it is a C-sharp and XNA-based project that you know you don't normally see all these, and there's some really successful ones out there, but you don't normally get to see the source code from them. So XNA was a framework that was developed in-house at Microsoft, enabled you to create uh, PC and Xbox games using C-sharp, and it was uh, came out of the free version of Visual Studio. It basically created the indie game dev movement in a lot of ways. And some of the most successful games out there were created using uh, a combination of um, at first X and A, and then it was carried on by the game you see, the engine you see in front of you right now. This is Mono Game. Now Mono Game was kind of like X and A. Five. Now, XNA4 would be the last version that Microsoft released, and that spun off into another project. And we're talking about years and years ago. So, uh, FNA was released like 10 plus years ago, and this was a port more about being cross platform XNA. So, this is XNA4 cross platform, cross platform edition. So, this is more about making those XNA games run on other platforms as perfectly as as possible. Both of these have been used to make a ton of projects, ton of games out of them, and they share like 99.9% .9 of the code base. So you could move from mono game over to FNA or FNA over to mono game. If you didn't use any of the mono game specific stuff, the code should just work across platforms. And these two um, frameworks, even though they're based on like a 10 plus year old well, more than that, I think XNA probably came out 15 to 20 years ago. Uh, that framework has been just stellar and it's been adopted by so many people. Uh, so that's why this one's kind of interesting. It is a open source, but sorry, source available, not open source project where you can see a very successful game source code. And of course the community can run with it and it will be interesting to see what they ultimately create out of this. So a special thanks to TechSmith Camtasia for sponsoring this video and in fact being the tool I use to create this video and 99% of the other videos on this channel. And as you can see from the background, this is the workflow for creating this literal video and it's super fast. Now obviously it's been sped up a little bit, but literally this video took a couple of minutes to make after the initial recording aspect, which Camtasia also takes care of with their recording software. So if you want an easy to use and learn video recording software and editing suite, do check out Camtasia, you can use the code game from scratch at checkout to save 50% off. They've also got a fully functioning version with just a watermark. So if you want to go ahead and try it out, you can do so. So thank you TechSmith for sponsoring this. And let me know what you guys think of Rogue Legacy in general, the source code being released, the licenses under and all of that. And I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.